I'm Kudzi and I'm a second year civil engineering student. I'm here at UBC. I am Zimbabwean, but I've lived in Swaziland and Italy for a bit of my life. This past year, I learned that I am pretty amazing and I don't say that to like toot my own horn, but I promised myself that I would get involved more and that I'll just do more I'm outside just school. So I took six courses, I had a job, I joined clubs and I still made time to like have fun. And not only did I like survive that, but I succeeded and I think that's pretty amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. So another pivotal experience that has shaped me this semester was I got to go to the conference on diversity in engineering and I got to go to that by, by applying through the EUS and UBC funds it so I paid very little and it was a basically an all funded trip to Toronto and there was one panel that I really enjoyed where I got to meet black and women of color in engineering and it was great because I was surrounded by engineering students who believe the same things in I, that I did and who wanted to see engineering change into a better space. Before coming to UBC, I wouldn't say I was worried about being a female in a male-dominated space. My parents did a great job at preparing me. They told me all the female-to-male -male ratio stats. They told me about the female dropout rates. And it wasn't to scare me, but it was just to like, let me know what the journey would look like. And I think that was great because my parents have always pushed me um, to aim for the stars. And that just allowed me to know that I could do it, like that this is a reality, but I could still overcome it. Um, and one thing that um, I've noticed after like being in such a male dominated space is that I've become a little more shy um, and I've never been shy academically. I'm always that person who's comfortable with like lifting up their hand in class and answering the question even when no one else wants to. Um, but now I just feel like because there's so few females in the classes and the classes are so big, um, sometimes it almost feels like if you do put up your hand, people are looking at you more. And that's probably not true, or maybe it is. I don't know, <laughs> but that's how I feel. I would want um, incoming students to know that it's very important for you to speak out and there will be situations where you're uncomfortable or you are being treated unfairly or your needs aren't being catered for and I think it's very important to let people know that that's the case and sometimes they everyone will listen to you and they will adjust accordingly because maybe they didn't realize or maybe they did realize but they just didn't want to speak out about it you're gonna do great um, even when it seems so hard and like you have so many deadlines and you haven't started doing the work you're supposed to do because you're procrastinating or you're just tired, like you'll be fine. Just keep pushing, keep on at it, get up every day in the morning and like keep doing it, you're great. And it's very important to realize that we've come such a long way in terms of just like the proportion of male to females and there is so much more to go, but we are paving that way. And sometimes it's difficult, but it's, it's because we love what we do, so it makes it easier. <laughs>